Thank you, Archie. And on behalf of the entire family of the Queens County Democratic Party, we're here this morning, Kathleen, to endorse you uh, for Attorney General for the State of New York. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Attorney General from the State of New York, Kathleen Rice. Thank you. Wow, I have to tell you, I, I couldn't be more proud to accept this endorsement. I want to thank Congressman Crowley for being such a good friend uh, to me and the Queens County Democratic Organization, all of the elected officials who are here, and community leaders who took the time out to come here today, and of course, Helen Marshall, a great leader of this wonderful borough as well. Uh, I want to also thank the good people of Queens who have received me so warmly during my visit to the borough. You know, I have to say that uh, I, although I am the DA in Nassau County and that's where I grew up, my life began right here in Queens. Both of my parents grew up in Forest Hills. It is where they met. It is where they married, and uh, this is where my life began. So Queens has always and always will have a very, very special place in my heart and still in the heart of my 85-year-old father who, but for the weather, would have been here with us today. Uh, I love visiting Queens. It is not just a microcosm of New York State. It is a microcosm of the world. Every imaginable subset of our population is here in Queens, and having the support of the Queens Democratic Organization and all of these wonderfully hard-working elected officials here today gives me the most diverse coalition of supporters of any candidate running in this race for Attorney General. I look forward to continuing the dialogue that I have begun with everyone here in Queens and to hear from them the issues and what matters to them most. After this uh, press conference here, we're going to be going to the flagship diner for all the members of the press so that we can have a more in-depth conversation. But I just want to tell you a little bit about me. My life did begin here. Uh, my parents moved out to Nassau County, but they quickly had 10 children, of which I am the seventh, as all good Irish Catholic families. I think our <laughs> congressman knows a little bit, a little something about that. But my parents, like every parent, stress the importance of education. It is the great equalizer in life. And they also stress the importance of giving back to our community. And I have chosen to do that as a legal advocate, as a first as a prosecutor in Brooklyn on behalf of victims of child abuse and domestic violence and murder, and then as a federal prosecutor on behalf of victims of financial crimes that we've been seeing all too often of late and public corruption. And I unseated a 30-year Republican incumbent well entrenched uh, in our neighboring county of Nassau County. I was given the opportunity to run for DA, and I began to set about redefining the role of a modern prosecutor today in what we need in our community. So we've addressed the epidemic of drunk driving, of long entrenched drug problems that still affect the safety and the prosperity of too many of our communities all across Nassau, Queens, Long Island, New York, across this great state of ours, and also begun to restore the public trust by going after those who betray the trust of the public. It is what we have to hold so dear, and it's one of the reasons why I am running for attorney general. I want to be together, work together with everyone here to restore our faith, the faith that all New Yorkers deserve to have in their public officials, in their state government. We're going to make sure that Wall Street plays by the rules so that we can restore confidence as consumers and investors. And I want to get back to being on the side of the consumer, of all of us, on, on the day-to-day -day issues and the crimes that affect us so much, like predatory lending and immigration crime and all of those crimes that insurance fraud, all of those kind of cases. And and crimes that affect communities all across this state, especially during difficult times like we are going through right now. I cannot tell you how proud I am. It, it almost brings me to tears to be standing here with so many wonderful leaders in the community here in Queens, led by Joe Crowley, a wonderful congressman who represents us so well in Washington and here in Queens, and Helen Marshall. It is women like Helen Marshall on whose shoulders I stand. And for every girl who comes after me, <laughs> no, hardly, hardly. But it is groundbreaking women like Helen Marshall and all the other women that you see standing here that has given me the opportunity to run as the first, who will become the first woman attorney general in this state. I am so proud to accept this endorsement. I'm going to work so hard to win, and I look forward to representing everyone here in Queens and throughout New York State. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Kathleen. We know you're going to make us proud, so thank you very much. I don't know if there's any questions uh, anyone has, uh, and if not, we can get out of the... Uh, this balmy, hot, breezy, breezy, but I am sweating like you wouldn't believe. 
Hearing none, there was a motion to adjourn. Any seconds? I so approve. I hold the signs up for a picture here. Yeah. Who's got to say here? Great. Helen, grab her, grab her left hand. Helen, grab her left hand if you could too. Up in the air, up in the air.